What up, my niggas? I'm in somewhat of a meth mood. I figured, you know what? I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit to you guys, so that way you're informed about what I'm doing. But yo, I've been, so as you know, I've been looking into places to move because it's about time for me to get out of where I currently am. Issues here and there, whatnot, you know, and it'll just be better for my videos if I, let me, let me put my feet up. It'll, it'll just be better for my videos if I just get my own place at this point. But shit, it's fucking difficult, man. Like, the, the money's one thing. The money's one thing. And thanks to you guys and all the support that I've gotten, you know, the money is actually there now for me to find a place. I mean, it's not, I'm not rolling in it, but you know, at least it's possible for me to potentially try to find a place now. But, you know, that's the only step one, it seems, as I'm having a lot of difficulty getting somewhere locked down. It all comes down to my credit score, which is not really all that good because I still have some student loans that I haven't paid off yet from a while back and I was told that maybe that's not as big of a hindrance but still and actually that's not even the worst part my credit score is somewhat passable because whenever they look it up they're like, oh, okay you know student loans it's understandable who doesn't have student loans at this point you know so whatever but the part where it gets kind of difficult is proof of income Proof of income is always the weirdest part because whenever I'm on the phone trying to schedule to see a place, they say, okay, what do you do for a living? I'm like, oh, oh okay, um, I, I make videos online. And they're like, I see. And I'm like, no, 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 YouTube videos. YouTube videos online, you know? I haven't gotten into RedTube yet. I haven't gotten to Pornhub yet. Just YouTube videos. And then they're like, oh, okay. Do you make enough to afford this apartment? And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I could afford it. And they're like, okay, do you, you just need proof of income, you know, pay stubs, all that shit. And my situation is so strange because, you know, it's, I work online with YouTube. So it's like, I don't really get pay stubs. I do get some kind of email and I guess they want to see that. But you know, the thing that's also weird about it is the fact that my channel, the whole income history of it, it's not like I've been steadily making above a certain amount. They want to see income history where they see that you're making constantly, like, for example, if the apartment's like 1300 Like, right now, they want to see you make, like, double that or triple that for, like, consecutive months on end without fail. But with the way YouTube works, you guys, a lot of you guys probably clicked this video, you saw an advertisement, or you're seeing an advertisement in the video right now somewhere, you know, in one of these fields, you're seeing one of those ad pop-ups. Those are the way that I get my money. Those are the way I get paid. So that way I can, you know, not die. <laughs> and the thing is, is that, you know, that can go up and down sometimes. It's usually constant as long as you're doing your thing on YouTube. But mine recently just, boom, it recently exploded. So I don't know. It just, I just can imagine it does, it won't look that good to them, you know? And so when they see income, they're like, um, okay kind of weird but all right and it's like all right you know what niggas just forget it forget the fucking shit ever was said i'll just look for somewhere else it's it's insane man so i'm actually able to use my mother to guarantee them that nothing will go wrong because she has really good credit and a decent income so she can sign for me and be like okay if he doesn't pay it then i'll pay it myself as his mom with my good credit and my you know my payment history and they're like oh well Okay, that's a good, that's a plus. That's a plus. So you know what? I'm going to be moving forward from here, trying to like use my mom as a guarantor, as they call it here, to secure myself a place if it's possible. It's still, the issue of my income is still going to look a little strange to them because I guess some places just don't know how YouTube works. They don't understand that, you know, you can make a lot of money in a very short amount of time on YouTube as long as, you know, you're passionate about it and you're doing your thing. That's going to be a tough one to explain. So... I don't know, man. I was also just feeling like, oh, you know, right now. Okay, let me tell you the details, right? Let me tell you the details. Right now, I'm looking for a one-bedroom apartment or a two-bedroom apartment. Like, I don't want them in bad areas, though. Like, I don't want something like, you know, I can deal with an area if it's a little bit rough, but I don't want somewhere like Brownsville in Brooklyn. Brownsville in Brooklyn is just, wait, is this mic? Oh, yeah. Brownsville in Brooklyn is a horrible place to be. <laughs> and right now, um, Actually, you know, I'll, I'll show you guys. Right now, I'm currently living in Coney Island Projects. And if you, you know, if you understand the you know, projects, 
the concept of projects. They're not exactly a high income area. I'm ruining with my girlfriend actually, but I mean, the thing that makes things so difficult with this is that, I don't know, it's, it's, it, there's a lot, there's a lot. The money is just one part of it. Now I have to come up with a bunch of other stuff just to look eligible for it. Hmm. But yeah, I'm looking for a one bedroom or a two bedroom. It can be anywhere from 1,000, 1,300 to 1,600. That's my absolute limit. You know, anything cheaper than 1,300, you're not really gonna find that in New York. It's crazy, I know. The prices here are ridiculously high, but that's what I get for being born here, I suppose. And I don't drive, so I mean, I can't really move out somewhere else. Plus, I, all my stuff is here in Brooklyn. You know, I wouldn't wanna move out of here. So I can, but I can afford a place that's between 1,300 and 1,600. It just is a little bit difficult securing it with my, with my payment history. They're gonna look at that and be like, you know, what the fuck? This don't look too stable to me. <laughs> and you know, I guess that's the difficulty I gotta deal with. Maybe if I meet with owners personally, and maybe if I pull in some favors, there's a couple of people I know who said that they would try to see if they can figure out something for me, like pull a favor for me or something. We'll see, but um, yeah, I just, I'm just a little bit distraught behind the whole thing because, oh, I'm so tired. I spent so much time looking around yesterday. I spent so much time looking around yesterday. I was like, oh, you know, I went to like, what? Three places? Three places, yeah. Yeah, it takes a lot out of you. It's tiring. And so, I don't know, I guess I got a little bit down today because I'm saying to myself, okay, I should be able to find a place easily, you know? I got the money for the deposit, and if you don't know what the deposit is, you basically have to pay um, one month rent, one month security, and then sometimes you have to pay a broker's fee as well too, which is expensive as fucking niggerdom. It's, it's crazy. But the broker's fee, usually you wanna avoid that if you're like going to apartments directly. But I can't afford to pay no broker's fee, man. I, I mean, I have like, okay, I'll just be real. You know, I'm, I don't even know why. I have $5,000, right? I got 5,000 in the bank. And I'm saying to myself, okay, with well, 5K, you know, that's a pretty damn solid deposit, right? Even if I do have to split that shit three ways, pay out three ways for a place that's like 1,300, that's still $3,900 spent. And you know, 900 I could use for, you know, I mean, excuse me, 1,100 that I could use to, get, you know, buy furniture and shit. But, man, that's just part one. <laughs> then they want to see the payment history and they want to see everything else. And they're like, yo, I don't like to have all that shit in order in terms of like, I try to tell them, you know, okay, you know, look, okay, look at my YouTube channel. It's going big. It's blowing up really big. You know, the payments are going to be stable from now on. You know, give me a fucking shot, nigga, please. Nigga, please. Give your boy a shot. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I got to get out of here. But, um. Yeah, it's it's just a it's a difficult thing. It's a difficult thing. Thank you for hearing me out and hearing me bitch about it. I always feel better after I bitch on camera to you niggas. So thank you very much. But um, yeah, moving forward from here, I gotta get it into my mind that this is not going to be easy. I gotta get it into my mind that I'm going to have to put this. I'm gonna have to put serious effort into this in order to make myself find a place. Serious effort. Full time job. I'm gonna have to treat this like a task. I thought, I thought, oh, 5,000, huh, I'm good. I'll be able to move in anywhere, no problem. Nope, <laughs> nope, you ain't got the history, nigga. I got a guarantor though. Thank, thankfully, my mother is amazing. I actually helped my mom move in to somewhere new. Um, I gave her money to do that. So, you know, so I'm, I'm saying to myself, hey, you know, I'm making some decent money now. Let me get into a place of my own so I can do all this stuff that I've been planning on doing. It just hasn't been working out that easy and I've been down, but you know, I've been, I've just been down about that, but I'm sure I'll be fine in a few hours. I'm going to take a nap right now. I'm just tired, man. I'm tired. I'm worn out. I was looking at Craigslist all day today. It was just like, uh, I don't know. I ain't finding shit. <sighs> but yeah, I just wanted to keep you guys informed. Videos will be coming back regularly since now. I realize I'm probably not going to move any anytime this week at all. Probably no time this month. Who knows? Maybe in the next two months I won't even move. Oh, God, that's going to be awful. But I mean, videos coming back regularly tomorrow motherfuckers don't don't think that i'm going off the ball i didn't upload anything yesterday because i was kind of trying to see what the whole moving thing would be like going out to places i went to three places now i understand how fucking ball busting this process is going to be so i might as well just turn down and then get back to just doing my videos now, i mean the videos aren't what's the problem it's just the time you know i only have
three more hours until everyone comes home and I can't do the videos anymore. That's it. Anyways, guys, thank you for hearing me bitch on camera and I'll talk to you motherfuckers in the next one. Take care of yourselves and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.